In 2002, I was a research astronomer at the University of New South Wales in Sydney, Australia. And we had a little bit of a problem with student numbers. But at the same time, there was a TV show that was very, very popular. It was called The X-Files. And one of the mottos of this program was, the truth is out there. Another motto is, I want to believe. Now, as astronomers, we think we know what there is to know about the truth that is out there. We know much more about the truth that's out there than any Hollywood scriptwriter. Why are they popular and we're not? For example, we know about the surface of Mars. We know about star formation all over the galaxy. We know about black holes at the centers of warped galaxies. And we know about galaxies, hundreds of billions of galaxies everywhere in the expansion of the universe. But still, well, with that confidence, we said, we're going to start a course called Are We Alone? The Search for Life Elsewhere in the Universe. However, I was a little bit anxious about this. I'd never talked about life in the universe and aliens. Is that kind of taboo subject for an astronomer? So I went, before this class started, there's orientation week where students first come to the university. And there was an organization called the Spock Sock, the University of New South Wales Spock Sock, promoting Star Trek and other sci-fi sci -fi TV shows. And they, I talked to them for about an hour. And they told me all about so many dozens and dozens of planets and TV shows in District 9 and TV shows and movies I'd never heard of and all the aliens. And I kind of said, well, wait a minute, I'm good too. I know about Star Trek and go where no man has gone before. I know that Mr. Spock is from the planet Vulcan. I know that Superman is from the planet Krypton. I'm good too. And they kind of laughed and smirked. And you know what they said? They said, how can you teach a course on ETs? You don't know anything about ETs. Well, we ran the course anyway. And part of the course, we had a survey. We gave students, about 200 students, a survey. Are we alone? Yes, no, or huh? Before the class started, this, these were the answers. About 10% yes, we are alone, no aliens. 80% said, no, yes, there are ETs, and 10% said, hmm, huh, what's the question mean? After the course, we redid the survey, and these were the new results, and I'm particularly proud of that doubling of the huh response. In other words, the question, are we alone, what does that really mean? Now, we're creating a MOOC here, so we want to do another survey, and that's what we did.